Cheers and once again welcome to Christmas Caribbean Delight. And today I'm going to share with you a southern Bigfoot recipe which I have tweeted and um, added some stuff to, to make it delectable and um, awesome. Now, um, several countries cook pig feet in, a, in several different ways and in Guyana we would do some sauce with it or we can do pepper pot with it which is one of our, um, our national dishes. Uh, we can just chew it down with some peas. Uh, in Cuba they do a feijoada. In different countries you use it in different ways now. Um, this is a southern, American southern uh, type of dish that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to do here, and I I um, I added some extra ingredients and I just tweeted it to make it a spicy a kind of Caribbean thing, but um, it's the same thing and it's going to be delicious, delectable, and you'll love it. It's finger licking good. And now let's go to the ingredients for my southern Bigfoot recipe. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I have some bullion powder here, about a tablespoon of bullion powder, tablespoon of black pepper, tablespoon of red chili flakes, some garlic powder, thyme, dried thyme, and some all-purpose uh, complete seasoning. These are um, I'm going to put onto the onto the pigfoot and to let it marinate for about maybe about 20 minutes or so. So let's add these all in here. Go in with the pepper flakes. Go in the black pepper. Complete. That's the complete seasoning. We're going to do the thyme and the garlic powder. Okay. And now I'll just massage that in and we'll have it just let it sit for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now we've been sitting here. These are my pig feet that I've marinated and I've put my dry seasoning on. And we've been sitting here for about 20, 25 minutes so that it can absorb some of that uh, wonderful dry seasoning. Now, this is the, um, my fresh seasonings that I'm going to, that I'm going to add to it um, when I put it into the slow cooker. So I'll do a bay leaf in there and I'll do some green onions and some, some celery or cilantro. I have cilantro here, some lemon juice lemon zest, crushed garlic, minced garlic I should say, and onions. And this is the liquid that I'm going to, that I'm going to cook it in. It's um, a half a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar and, um, and some Worcester sauce along with some soy sauce and water and I filled it up with water but I don't know I may need a little more water added to that but that's what I'm going to include right now into the um, the slow cooker so that I can I can get things going I can also I am thinking about adding, I probably will add some bell pepper a little bit a little a couple pieces of bell peppers uh, diced and um, and maybe a carrot or so but it's not necessary that's optional but for now, we'll go to the slow cooker and we'll place our pig feet in there. So here we are in the, I'm going to the slow cooker. I have it, um, I have it on the on position right now, which is like a stove top position. Um, so I'm just going to place this in there and I'll just let it start to, uh, to, to sear. The meat a little bit um, might not be totally um, ready right now, but uh, we'll just put it in, putting them in here. So 
So these are these were seasoned with the uh, the bullion powder and the uh, thyme and the pepper flakes and all that. And they were sitting there for about a good 20, 25 minutes so that that can soak right in there. Okay, so we're getting like quite a few in here. seasonings that are in the bottom of the bowl. Try to get everything in there. Try to get everything in there. Okay, so um, now we're ready for let's drop our bay leaf in there. Put him down to the side and put one on this side. This is my celery, my cilantro, sorry. Cilantro. I'm gonna put over fresh seasonings in here. My shallot, and it's the green onion shallot. Okay, spread that around. Zest of one lemon. Lemon zest. And give it a kick. Half of a large onion. Okay. It's starting to heat up now, you can hear. It. Garlic, my minced garlic. Oh, those are my puppies. They're seeing something on the road here. The juice of the lemon that you zested. So now that we added all of those, uh, we're gonna just add our bell peppers. Yellow, some red, and some rosemary. And just put some rosemary on top. They get it that fragrant. Um, that that's that's nice fragrance. Okay, so now this we're gonna let this sit here. We're gonna turn the the slow cooker on to uh, about three hundred um, about for three hours, and it's gonna cook nice and slow. And there's one other thing. Let's get it. Butter, butter, butter. Everything gets better with butter. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everything gets better with butter. Okay, so we're gonna let that go. It, it should go for about four hours, but at about two and a half, three, we'll check it and see how it comes around, how it's coming up, and then We'll cover it and we'll see if we need any taste, uh, you know, any adjustments. So, right now, we're going to just cover. And we're going to go down here to the slow cooker on the high temperature, four hours. And we're going to just leave it there, four hours. And we'll check it in about three see how it comes out and see see what we got so I'll see you then I almost forgot liquid 
This is, you know, we have like a half a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar. Um, I have some, a bit of, a, about a couple of tablespoons of uh, Worcestershire sauce and some soy sauce. And we need this liquid to be in here. And it's going to produce its own liquid also. So. Okay, so now we're ready to cover and go. All right, and we'll just keep checking on it. Should be a wonderful, a wonderful pot here. Looks beautiful. Okay, so we are like uh, three hours and forty minutes. Uh, we're done. We um, we're not done yet, but it's now gets getting it's it's pretty soft. And um, as I opened it and I checked it, I tasted. I needed a little more salt, so what I did, I I added some tagine. You know, this is my my favorite uh, seasoning. It is a lime-based seasoning. So you get it's de a dehydrated lime juice in there along with a few other seasonings like garlic powder and stuff like that. I also added some um, uh, sweet paprika. I added some paprika and I, I, and I added some enhanced seasoning. Um, Vitsen. I just couldn't remember the name. Sorry about that. Some Vitsen. I just added some, and this enhances the flavors of, of all the other ingredients that are in there. So, but it's not a totally soft as I want it to, right? It's not, uh, it's soft, but it's not really, you know, the way I want it, you know? I mean, it's coming off the, the bone, but, um, you know, it's just, just a little, a kind of a, a, you know, pulley to me. So, I'll just leave it in here and um, I'll give it another half an hour. So, I just, I give it a stir and I'll just leave it there and cover it. Just leave it there for another half an hour and we'll see what it, you know, what, what it comes out to be. I know it's going to be a little softer. And then I might need to, it's not a lot of liquid in there, but I can dry it out a little. You can always turn your, your um, slow cooker back to the stovetop um, setting and, that, that, and leave it open and, you can dry, and that dries it out. So that will dry out the, the excess water. If you don't want it, you know, you want all that sauce in there and stuff like that. That dries out the little the the, ex, the extra water that you may not want, so I may do that. But once I'm finished, I'm gonna just turn this back to an hour, let it get an hour, and um, I'm gonna, once I come back to it, we'll see if I need to dry any water out and stuff like that, and then we'll go to that. We'll go to that 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 next step. And now, guys for the final reveal um, it has been four hours four and a half hours that we've been that I've been uh, I've been cooking these for these are my southern pig feet my southern style pig feet um, four and a half hours and they're nice and tender and now I'll just uh, I'll just dish out. I'll take some out. All the seasonings and the veggies that I have put in there, they all melted away and become this wonderful stew. It's just fantastic. Just fantastic.
and here we are a wonderful plate of southern style pig feet with white rice southern style pig feet with white rice enjoy here's the taste test this is my southern pig feet with white rice my pre birthday uh, dinner ensemble here and I have myself a little beer here cheers uh, awesome Get a little bowl for those bones around here. But this is awesome. You must try this recipe. It takes a little while. Patience is virtue. When you finally, when you're finished with this and you taste it, you will not regret the four hours that it took and you want to do it again so once again like share subscribe Chris's Caribbean delights southern pig feet with white rice cheers